to turn it over to uh, Kirsty Nelson of uh, Auto, and she's going to talk to you more about the RFID in the, in the cards. Kirsty. Excellent. Thank you, John. Um, again, I'm Kirsty Nelson, Director of Marketing for Auto, and for those of you who may be unfamiliar with who Auto is, we provide products and services to the waste industry, and that includes containers for both residential and commercial collection. And we also have auto container management, which is a container services division um, managing cart fleets for cities and haulers. So that could mean cleaning up your yard, repairing uh, carts within your fleet, replacing them, moving them, that kind of thing. So um, moving along to the next slide, in an RFID solution, our role is essentially twofold, Auto's role. We make the carts, as John just said, um, and then we also are responsible many times for the rollout of those carts, which means delivering them to each home. Um, and what's important here is that we are what residents are seeing on the streets, right? We're out there putting those carts in front of the streets. Everyone's really curious, looking through their windows. So our professionalism and our quality are very important because we see ourselves as an extension of the city or the hauler that we're doing this project for. So we're very careful to be accurate, to be timely, and to make sure that our guys out there are looking professional and behaving professionally. So this slide essentially um, outlines from a 20,000-foot you know, view what our role is in the implementation process with an RFID project. So first and foremost, we conduct what we call a pre-rollout exploratory meeting with the customer to get the details. And then we receive from the customer the address file, um, which has all the, the homes that are going to be uh, receiving carts. And then we produce the carts to the customer's spec. And that obviously is the size, the color that they want, um, any hot stamping, labeling, that kind of thing. So we produce the carts. We install the tag at the plant. And then once the, the carts are done, we do the actual rollout or delivery in the field at the homes. And then lastly, when all the, the um, carts are delivered and the rollout is complete, we provide back to the customer a master file with all the information they need in order to download that into their system and basically start using all of that data. So in Hattie, to, to Hattie's bird case in particular, when we met with them before the rollout, our exploratory meeting essentially uncovered, they needed 23,500 carts, half of which would be trash, half of which would be yard waste. And by the way, I saw a question by one of the participants about um, two carts at one home being read simultaneously. There was a concern there. And Steve will address that and how that is avoided. But um, it can be avoided absolutely because of the technology here. Um, so back to Hattiesburg, uh, Hattiesburg also wanted extra carts for their inventory um, so that they had extras, you know, for growth or what have you. And then lastly, we learned that Hattiesburg wanted a hang tag on each cart when they're delivered so that the residents could be educated on this new program that the city was going to be offering. Okay, so once we did that, we got the address file from Hattiesburg. That was about 11,000 addresses. And what we do with that address file is we verify the addresses against the government database that we have here in-house. And what that means is we are making sure that all of those house numbers actually exist. We make sure the street names are correct and that kind of thing. Because obviously, if we're delivering these carts, we need to make sure we're delivering them to actual houses versus you know, something that doesn't exist. OK, so um, once we had all the addresses in check, we are producing the carts at our plant. And so what happens when we produce a cart is it comes off the machine, and we hot stamp it with a serial number, a hot stamp basically being an impression on the side or the front of the cart. It's a unique number to that specific cart. And then we install the tag, the RFID tag, into the handle, and we plug the handle so the tag stays in there securely. And then we scan that tag. And what's happening is that RFID tag that we just scanned gets matched to the cart's unique serial number into a database. 
So those two pieces of information are unique to that one cart, and we have captured them and associated them with one another in the database. And then at, uh, at the end of our production lots, what we do is we download that file into you know, kind of a greater, larger file that starts to be our identifier file for um, the master database, which I'll get into in a sec. Okay, and so then, so we've produced all these carts. We've got 23,500 carts. So we start our rollout. This took about four weeks in Hattiesburg to get them all out into the homes. And so we're delivering, again, two carts. We've got a yard waste cart, which was the, uh, the brown one that you see here on the slide, and then a regular municipal solid waste cart, which is the green one. So we deliver both to the curb, and as they're delivered in front of a house, they are scanned by a Motorola handheld. And it's reading those tags, and that tag number is being matched to the address that is actually preloaded onto that handheld. And that is thanks to the Concept2 Solution software that's on that handheld. So now we've got these two carts unique to that unique address, right? So they're all matched together. And then at the end of each day, what we do is we um, download that information into um, the mat what starts to be the master file. And we can also do delivery reports. And what that shows us is that every single house on the route that we were doing a delivery that day received their two carts. Now, we can also view any kind of what's called exceptions. And that might be, let's say, we couldn't deliver a cart to a house because it was blocked off due to construction or the road was closed or some sort of you know, anomaly that might happen during a rollout. We have those exceptions captured. And what we do is we go back to that house either at the end of the, the entire route or the end of the entire ro um, rollout to make sure that those houses indeed have their two carts that they need. So once we do all of the rollout, and that's all complete, everyone's got their, their carts, we now have a master file that we return back to Hattiesburg. And what that is going to have is three pieces of information. Again, you've got the cart serial number, which is visibly um, located on, on the cart on the side by the hot stamp. You've got the cart RFID uh, tag number, which is inside, obviously, the handle. And then you've got the home address. So those three pieces of data are in this master file. They're all associated with one another. And then Hattiesburg can take that information, that database, and then download it into their office systems for when they're, they're ready to start the collection process in the new program. That's it in a nutshell. And from there, I'm going to pass it on to Steve Weiss.